Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven. In this episode, I'm taking a look at Santorini, which is an older game designed by Dr. Gordon Hamilton and has been republished by Roxley Games. And this is a game for two to four players. Basically, it's a two-player game, which also has extra figures for a third player. And in a four-player game, you basically play in two teams of two players. And it's an abstract game where you're building buildings like these on Santorini. And the first person to reach the top of a building wins the game. So let's open up the box, set up a game, I'll explain the rules, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright, so let's have a look at the box. It has some really cool artwork on the front of the box, which kind of shows you what to expect. And the back of the box also shows you uh, the contents of the game, some of the cards, their contents are listed here as well. This is the first edition, the Roxley edition. The newer editions will be uh, published by um, Spin Master, who uh, have a slightly different version. But this is the first edition by Roxley. Um, inside the box we find, of course, the rules, so this booklet with the rules and it folds out like this. It has all the uh, the god cards explained and the golden fleece expansion which is sold separately. So there's that. And then inside basically you find all the components. So we've got a bag with the first level uh, pieces, the second level pieces, the third level pieces, the blue domes, a bag with the uh, figures that you'll be playing with, a bag with all the god cards, the cliff, the plastic cliff that will hold the board, the top of the board, your playing field that goes on top of this, and the bottom that you place on the table. Let's set up a game. To set up Santorini, you first put down this board in the middle of the table. You place this plastic rock piece on top, and on top of that, you place the playing board. Next, the youngest player places two of their workers anywhere on the board, and then the other player does the same. There are two extra workers for a three-player game, but I will be explaining a two-player game first. That's the basic setup. Let's explain the rules. On a player's turn, a player selects one of their two workers, and then they must first move and then build. Moving is simple. If this is your character, then you can move into any square adjacent to your location. So I could go here. And then the second thing I do is to build. When building, you always start with the bottom level, which is this part. On top of a bottom level, you place the first floor, which is this part. On top of that, you can build a third floor. And on top of that, you can build a dome. So after I've moved my worker, I could build adjacent again. So in any of these eight spots surrounding my character, so I could build here. And that is my turn. Then the next player could also move one of their characters, pick a level to build, and then end their turn. When moving, I may only move up one level at a time, so I cannot move from the ground floor to the second floor or higher, but I can always move multiple stories down. When building, I can always build as long as I am adjacent to a building and I can build as high as I want to, so I could be here and build on top of this building. The dome acts as an unaccessible level. So for example, if the brown player would move here and then build another level here, hoping to be able to step on top of this on their next turn, then this player could move and then build a dome adjacent to their location on top of this building, making this building inaccessible. The game ends whenever one player can move one of their workers on top of the third story, and then that player is the winner. Keep in mind that you must 
always move first and you must be able to move and then build. If you are unable to do so, you also lose the game. The game also comes with these god cards. You have these simple gods which have the purple flower icon and the advanced gods which have this blue swirl icon. And each player can select one of those cards which will give you a special ability that's unique to you and will change the gameplay. In a three or four player game, all players need to pick one of the god cards and all of those guard cards need to have the three or four player icon in the top left corner over here. Three player game, the first player places their characters on the board, then the second player, and then the third player, and you play with all of these figures. But in a two player game, you only use two colors of miniatures and basically each player uh, uses one of those figures but each player has their own god powers. During the setup, the first player places the workers and the second player uh, takes the first turn for the team. If any player wins, their team wins, and if any player loses, their team loses. There is also an expansion called the Golden Fleece, and the rulebook already states how that works, and also has a overview of all the gods, the simple gods, the advanced gods and the golden fleece gods explaining exactly what they do. So that is how you play Santorini, let's go to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on Santorini, well first of all let me just say it looks amazing as everybody will agree with me uh, probably the the components of this game are so out of this world i mean look at all the cute little buildings you know that you're building the three layered uh you know components with the with the nice blue domes this just is so incredibly eye-catching it's fantastic i really love the way it looks and the miniatures are also very nice they're very funny they're tiny little men with big hat heads <laughs> that's just really cool and um, the artwork on the cards is also fantastic. Uh, there's plenty of cards in the game and all of these give you, as you know, different uh, abilities to play with, keeping the game interesting. So that takes me to uh, the game itself, so gameplay wise. I mean, I like the game, the basic game as is already without the cards. It's a very strategic, cool, abstract game and you really have to think ahead. You have to think several steps ahead to see where to build and where to put your men. And uh, well, that alone, uh, I really, really enjoy. And then add to that the different cards that you can, you know, that you can play with. That just makes the gameplay and the rebuild, uh, replayability, you know, a million times more. And uh, personally, I kind of prefer playing without the cards, just the base game, because that already gives me plenty of enjoyment. But you know, if, you, if you've played it enough times that you're thinking, okay, I'm, I'm up for a bit of a, a more of a challenge, then these cards provide ample material to play with and to keep it, you know, interesting over and over again. So, well, I, I can keep it short, really, because I really, really love this game. It looks amazing, the art is great, the components are great. Uh, the replayability is vast and it's just a very, very clever game. And so I can only highly recommend Santorini by Roxley Games. Two thumbs up for me. I mean, this is just one of the games that I will always keep in my collection. So, okay, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.